Okay, we are going to make a talking app today. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go to Thunkable. So just type in Thunkable. Oops. Like that. Click on this link right here. And it should look like this. We're going to get started with for free. We're going to use our smarteagles.org account to log in. So click here. And they probably asked you guys to log in with your Google account and you're going to click on that and hopefully get to this page. Once we get to this page, we're going to go ahead and click start building. I'm going to name this talking app and create. All right. So once we've named our, okay, so they're going to go through a few things. Hi there. So we're going to, we're going to, let's come on here. Go back to this. Nope. What happened? Yeah, we just want to be here. We don't need a tutorial to pop up. If you want to watch that tutorial and it pops up, that's not a bad idea. So we're going to do our talking app that we just created. Why well, I popped this back into here. All right, so here's what we're going to need to do. Uh, what I want to show you is a little bit about the this, the, this website. So we've got design and blocks. This is blocks are our programming. We're going to be programming with blocks with this, this um, app um, or with this program. And one of the things that you have is all your components are up here. Right now we only have screen one as our own component. We got some invisible components possible. Nothing there yet. Some files if we need files and then data sources if we're making it store data to use later. We also have where we add our components here on the left side. So we have several drawers. User interface is the first one. So that's where you know you would have stuff in there that the user is going to see and 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 need in the app. We have layout, and you can close all these so you can see more of them by clicking on these little arrows. We have uh, components that do deal with voice. We're going to use some from that today. Components that deal with images. Components that you use with data storage location, sensors, social, authentication, like signing in, and monetization, uh, monetization, I should say. Okay, so those are all the different drawers that you can find different components to bring into your app. So you can tell this kind of looks like a phone. And so this is where we're going to create what our phone uh, or app will look like on a phone. So let's start with user interface. We're going to click bringing a button in. So the very first one is a button. I just clicked on the arrow so this opens up. Yours might already be open if you didn't close them. And bring that in and it creates a nice little button. Over here we have our properties or all the things you can change about the button. So we click on the button or since it's the only thing we have in here right now, this is the one that's active. So we're going to change the name to talking button. Yeah, something, something that makes sense to you. Space there. Okay. Um, we're going to change the color. So we can click on here and pick one of the fall colors. Pick that. And change. Oh, it changed the text. That's the text color. I don't think I want to do that. Let's go back to our original text color. I don't remember if it was white or what it was, but so this is the color I wanted, the background color. Change that to this color. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And so yeah, you can play with things and and uh, change it however you want. Change the size of it. Change different things and and see how you want your button to look. All right, back over to adding components. Uh, we also want to bring in a text input. So this is where the user is going to be able to type in information. Notice I drug it in just above the button. I could also drag it in below the button, uh, right there where the line shows up, and then it's below the button. But for this one, I want it above the button. Again, I could change the name of this component to be just the text. 
Now, this isn't that important for this app, but when you have many apps or many uh, components in an app, you are going to experience um, where you don't know what things are called. So it's very good to label them or change their names to make sure that they are called something that you recognize. We're gonna go ahead and just leave that hint right there. It says type here so the user will see that and they'll know what to, what to uh, type in there. All right, there's other, other different properties here as well. All right, so over here in the components, I notice that our component list is growing over here as well. We've got screen one, we've got text, which is our button. Maybe I should change that and click on the button. And so I know it's a button. Oh, I did say talking button. Oh, there it is. And then we got our text. Yeah, so the text was our text uh, block. And then talking button was our button. So there's our component. So I did do it right. Okay. Scrolling down or closing the user interface, we want the voice uh, drawer. I'm going to call these drawers uh, the voice. And we're going to take the text to speech out of the drawer and drop it here on our screen. Now, notice it did not stay here because this is a little program that runs in the background. Your user doesn't see it. And so it just drops down here and we're, it's called a non visible component. Another non visible component that we're going to use is in the sensor drawer. So we're going to go all the way down here to sensors. And we're going to take the accelerometer. Now this will not work on the computer, but if you had this app running on your phone, okay, that should drop down there. Yeah, there it is. If this was running on your phone and you had your phone in your hand and you shook it, then the code that we attach to the accelerometer uh, would work. All right, that's all we need for this simple app. So let's go to blocks. All right, so this is the block screen. We've got several things over here, different colors. That's gonna help us find things. Uh, we also have our component list. We have the accelerometer, alphabetical ties, alphabetical, uh, our text-to-speech program, our text uh, input, and our talking button, and screen one, and then some things that, for, that would work for any component. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on our uh, button, talking button. Click on that. When you click on the talking button, you get all the different blocks that go with the talking button. The one that you use the most is this dot click one. And so that's the one we're going to draw, drag in here. Then we're going to take our text to speech thing here and we're going to click on that. And we want this one right here uh, to speak. And so we bring this in. It's a it's going to, when I click the button, it's going to say, speak whatever is in the text, uh, or sorry, yeah, to speak this. And in this case, it says hello. That's the default. We don't want it to say hello. We want it to say whatever the user typed into the text box. So I'm going to click on the text box. And in the green, the getter, we got a getter block, is the text right here. Um, and so we're going to get this from the text block, get text. So from the text um, component, I should say, get the text that's in there, get what gets what's typed in there. And there we go. Okay. At first it didn't click in and now it's clicking in. So now when we click the, the talking button, it's going to use the text to speech program to speak whatever text is in the text area. And that's what's going to make our program speak to us. The other thing I wanted to do that will work on your phone is do the kind of similar thing with the accelerometer. So with the accelerometer, we click on that. We want the dot shaking one. And we're going to bring this here. So this means when the phone senses that it's been shaking, we want it to speak something. Let's see. Text to speech, sorry. Text to speech and speak something. So we're going to get the speak block dot, okay? And let's just leave it hello for now. If you want to change it later, you can. And that's all the coding we need to do for this app. So let's go ahead and go back to our, block, our uh, design. And let's see, we've used, let's just make sure we did everything. We used our talking button. We've used our accelerometer, text-to-speech, all our different components. So we've used accelerometer, text-to-speech, text, talking button. We didn't really use screen one, but that's okay. 
All right, so back to you. All right, let's preview this and see how it's working. So that's what's nice about this program. You can preview it right on our phone. It might take a little while, especially as your apps get a little bit bigger, uh, but here it is. So now the user would see this on their phone and they would see that message type here and they would type, good morning, whatever they want to type. And you click good that button. Morning. Mr. Kurt. There it is. It speaks it. Good morning, Mr. Kurt. You change it. You could say, good morning. Um, let's see, someone else that you guys might know. How about Miss Luba? Oh, it should be Miss Luba. Some of you might have had her as a science teacher last year. Good morning, Ms. Wilcox. Oh, it's funny how it says that. All right, and that's it for today. Uh, except for our app, but except we need to share it into Google Classroom. So you're going to click this share button up here at the top. Yep, it's going to provide me all the different things of your component. You're going to generate a link. You're going to copy this link as it pops up. There it is. Copy this. and then go into Google Classroom, which would, I'm gonna show you what that looks like by using um, my son's account. So I'm gonna go into Braden's smyrnaeagles.org account, go to Classroom, Google Classroom. Go to Automation Robotics class right here. And I'm gonna use an old assignment in classwork just to show you how it works. So we're gonna use this one, open it up, view assignment uh, right here, I guess. And I, I did it once before, but I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna do it again. So I'm gonna add or create, and you're gonna provide a link. And you're gonna paste that link that we just copied into there and add the link. So you can do control V or whatever, uh, computer you have you might have a different combination of keys or for me I just right clicked and then uh, chose paste and add that link into Google Classroom not for this assignment but for today's assignment so make sure you're in the right assignment and then submit it it says resubmit because this is an old assignment that he's already submitted and I've graded uh, all right and that is it for our class today